All right, so uh, just kind of a re quick little recap. So we did end up going hunting. We were going to have some video footage of that. Um, we've been we had some problems with the files and anyway that video footage did not come out it's <laughs> just goes along with the rest of the trip honestly um, this hunting trip was a bit of a bust so we had some issues um, and anyway, we went up there we ended up being up there three and a half four days didn't get anything uh, the whole family went, which is different from what we've done in the past. Usually my buddy and I will go up, but we took the whole family. Um, it was super cold. Uh, it rained, and then we had really bad winds, which blew the, the rain sideways into our tent <clears throat> and got our gear and uh, my buddy's gear and his family's gear all wet. So we ended up coming home. Um, Anyway, it was, eh, in a nutshell, it's basically what happened. It kind of was a bust. So, learned a bunch of things, learned that we need some different, better gear. Um, we've been foot hunting, and uh, I think we're gonna have to break down and get some, get a four-wheeler, maybe a couple other bigger items to, uh, to hunt. Uh, foot hunting is, has, for the last three years, hasn't really, um, been successful so we're gonna try some some new things but anyway uh, quick update gardens pretty much gone uh, we've pulled thing a bunch of things out there's a few different things in there uh, we got some cows still growing some other things we're letting go seed our pumpkins here they're just about done as well we've got some good sized pumpkins uh, these little guys are getting big Hi. They're getting pretty big and uh, whatnot. So every, all the Roberts are doing good. Um, here's these little guys. They're getting pretty big as well. So uh, they are super cute. Black noses and uh, <clears throat> black faces. They're super cute. So these ones, I think we're gonna end up just selling. We may have moved Carmel back over here. But yeah, we ended up losing one of these little guys yesterday. But uh, that's okay. That's what happens when you're uh, doing animals. But um, yeah, we just kind of getting things wrapped up for winter. I still am trying to get um, plywood. Actually, we're gonna use some some of the same siding that we use on the shed. You know, the that siding. I think we're gonna end up breaking down and buying that and putting it around the uh, hutches and whatnot. Uh, we gotta get something on it before snow flies. And as you can tell, we're getting pretty close. All the leaves are falling off the trees. This wind has been a big portion of that as well. Um, um, yeah, we got the three new chickens and um, we got the other chickens. So we'll be, I think these three new black chickens I think they are younger, so we should, we might actually get some eggs through the winter. We'll see how well that works out. Um, this is the last of the wood that's gonna go over here. And we're still waiting for our stuff with our fireplace to come in. Looks like the kids, kids and Jack here cleaning the leaves. So I'm gonna have Jackie go over something real quick with you guys. Um, we learned of a way to preserve our eggs through the winter. So I'm gonna have her go, kind of go over that with you guys. So I'll turn you around here. All right, babe. You wanna, 
Let's try round two here of explaining. <laughs> so we had some video complications and everything, but uh, uh, we're gonna try this again. So explain to us about what we're doing with our eggs. So I've been, someone posted in our board page about preserving eggs. And I thought it would be a good idea since we have so many and winter time is coming up that it would be good to save some of our eggs so we could use them through the winter um, since we won't be getting fresh eggs here soon. So my thinking on this, I've been doing a little bit of research and it's called glass. What is it? What did I say it was? <laughs> Water glass. Water glassing. And uh, it's one of the best ways to preserve your eggs from what I've been reading. And um, all you do is you put so much water in a five bucket container, five bucket, Mom. five gallon bucket. And then you put in hydrated lime. And it supposedly can last up to a couple years, but intentionally it's only supposed to last about eight months to a year. Um, at least that's because the shells sitting in them, the shells get softer the longer you have them in it. So eight months to about a year is what I would like to, to do. Um, but I, I'm thinking that it's a good idea, and all you have to do is keep them in a bucket with a lid on it in a cooler temperature area. So garage, or basement, in our case a crawl space, would be good because the temperature doesn't go below, what, 40 or 50? But the cooler the temperature, the better off they are as long as it's not below freezing. So, that's that. Well, there we have it. So yeah, we're gonna give that a try, and uh, we'll see where that goes. So that's what our plan is for our eggs. Like I said, we may end up having um, we may end up having um, eggs with the newer chickens, uh, but they it'll probably be two or three. So. Anyway, that's kind of where we're at, and uh, yeah, we're going to throw in some pictures that we do have from our uh, trip, and uh, a couple action uh, photos, or action videos of us clipping the chicken's wings, and uh, chopping wood, and whatnot. So, uh, we hope you enjoy, and uh, we will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. What are, what are we gonna do? I uh, clip the chicken's wings. Do you know why we're doing that? Because that's what we do. Because that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> <coughs> Almost all of the leaves have blown off the trees. So we got, uh, as you can see, all the, the leaves and that have turned. Almost all of the leaves have blown off of the trees. Here's our uh, wood piles here. We've got just a few more logs here that we've got to chop up, and then we're done. We got this pile of wood and that pile of wood. We got chickens. Um, we've got three new ladies here. Okay, three little blackies there. Jewel, leave them alone. Jewel's obsessed with the chickens.
kids are getting these chickens out. So we, we already clipped these these guys. Jewel, leave the chickens alone. We already clipped their wings. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look, she is malting. Yep. Yeah. She's starting to malt. Okay. You ready? She is heavy. She is heavy. She's a big chicken. Yeah. Yeah. So, last year we were wondering what was going on with their bellies and that. Did a little bit of research and so we're in the fall now. We're in the fall now and so this is from them malting. And uh, we're actually, their they're, uh, wings aren't too bad. They were already clipped in the spring and haven't grown too much. Now that they're malting, we'll be, we'll have to clip them again here in the spring. But, uh, they're doing pretty good. Uh, so yeah, basically what we're doing is we're clipping their wings. Yeah, that's what we do every time again. Yep, so spring and fall we usually yep. clip their, their wings. Like I said, uh, their wings haven't really grown that much. I think we ended up catching them a little late this last spring. Um, and uh, caught them after they had already malted. So uh, their wings really aren't too bad. I'm probably not going to clip the purse because they're pretty short still. So, but 